Hey, what's up guys? Tobin here, 5M Family Homestead Channel. I got Easton and Reed with me. And today we're gonna show y'all something that we bought at Tractor Supply that has been awesome in our shop. It has been very helpful and it's something that you need to have in your barn or your shop or even your garage uh, this winter. But before we do that, um, if you've been watching our channel very much, you know that Reed has turned into a, a small Daniel Boone and he's been trapping everything inside. So he's trapped possums and raccoons and this weekend I was at the Academy and I picked up a game camera that we're going to put out to kind of get a survey of what's going on on the back side of our property, what animals are moving around and then we're going to set some traps. Uh, Reed's been running two, how many traps you been running? Two. Two live traps. We're going to set a couple foothold traps. We've got a really uh, pretty big for Texas, a pretty strong little winter storm moving in, uh, possible snow. So we're, I'm hoping that the animals will be moving and we can trap some of them. Uh, hopefully, maybe a skunk, possum, raccoon, something like that. So we're going to go down there, set those traps, put the camera out, and then when we get done, we'll show you all uh, this new product we have in our, in our shop. You all ready? Yep. All right, let's go. <laughs> Storms in winter. So guys, as I was saying in the shed, in the shop in there, we've got a, they're predicting, it depends on who you watch, but somewhere between one to four inches of snow in the next few days. I'll be really, really, really surprised if that actually happens, but it's been cra a crazy year, so it wouldn't, I guess, stranger things have happened, so. But hopefully, that'll get those these uh, little critters moving and Reed can trap a few of them. Yeah, I doubt that it's even gonna stick if yeah. it's not. We're supposed to leave for our deer lease in a few days, and they're saying out there it could be even more. Like uh, eight, like a yeah, eight. something like that. But I'm excited if we do go because it'll be uh, easy to track the doe that I'm going to shoot, <laughs> that I, and I, and the easy to pick for the pig that I'm going to shoot. Yeah. Skyler, what are you doing? Come here. What are you doing? Coming to help Hi. us? Huh. What? <laughs> Watch, and she she'll go straight to that, that trap. Watch, yep. Scott. Yep. She'll do that every time I come out and check it. So this trap y'all saw in another video. Reed has them kind of a where he thinks they're coming through. He's trying to catch them in here. You've caught in this one trap in this spot. You caught two. How, two? What what were they? Uh, possum and raccoon. Yep. Is that for I think I'm gonna move it to right here because this is our port right here and under here all we saw a possum one time under there while we were building a pen over there and um so i think raccoons and possums can be like hiding out under here when it's raining and snowing so i think i'm gonna get that trap and just put it right right there i so. like it let's do it You like it right there? Yeah. Okay. So now I'm just going to take this up. So, um, right now I'm just using tuna fish in this live trap because I don't think dog food works well in a live trap just because they just reach their hands in there and grab it. But in the foothold trap, I'm going to be using dog food and marshmallows. So from Adler Farm and Arms Family, they both use marshmallows, so I'm gonna try marshmallows. We don't have any marshmallows, so I'm gonna use dog food, and then we're gonna go buy us some, so. Yeah, we need to get some of the big ones. Chad said that uh, Arms Family does that, put little big ones in there. They reach their yep. hand down in there. Yep. I also, I think, right here would be good, because I can get some dog food spread around and like, kind of, I wouldn't say baiting them in, just <laughs> luring them over here. Yeah. Guys, I picked up this little game camera at Academy this weekend. I think it's a 12 megapixel. It's a Muddy brand. It's a real basic camera. 
it has preset settings in it so you can slide this little switch to uh, whatever preset setting it is and then you look in the instruction manual and it shows you I think I paid $29.99 for it at Academy um, it, with it having the flash I probably wouldn't use it at our deer lease for deer but um, for this I think it'll be just fine so Reed wants to set it up right there we also got this idea from arms family um, using these little electric fence posts there you go electric fence posts just to have when you want to put a, a game cam somewhere and there's not a post or something to put on those things work really good unless it's super windy yeah. if it's windy they don't work that good it'll it'll take a bazillion pictures Has a five second timer. Yep. Just oh, and it just took them. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. What is it? Guys, these uh, dog proof traps, we've yet to catch anything in these. We set them out a bunch, but the way you set them is, is you gotta squeeze that piece and push that piece down and then it locks. right there like that and then when they stick their hand down in there there's a piece down in there and it, it trips that lever right here and yep. it clamps down around their their hand uh chad with adler farms was texting me to yesterday and said he's caught 40 in the last month or so in these so we've we've used them a few times here at the deer lease without any much luck but we're going to try again so we're going to set one here and then set one up over here and uh, we're going to use a couple of zip ties to secure them to the fence so that way they can't drag it off with them so Chad from Rambler Farms, I don't know how you set these things every day. They're like, like crazy scary. Feels like you could get your finger chopped off. It does. All right, Reed's got some dog food. It's starting to rain a little bit. The good stuff, too. Well. Yep. This is just regular dog food. Nothing special about it. Yep. I'm we'll gonna try that until we get some get some big marshmallows. Just get it, sprinkle a little bit in there. Put more on you. Get on run it. Give them something to think get about. comfortable. Yeah, I think, because you want it down in the trap, you want it below the, le the, the trip lever that's yeah. in there. Because if it if it's above it, like those jumbo marshmallows, you can't get uh, you can't put it under the lever, but um, they'll have to when they grab it, they'll push the marshmallow down. And it'll set it, it off. So here's a backwards view of the camera, We're hoping to see if anything snoops around the trap. Did you put some some just out in front of the, the camera a little bit? Yeah, get some. Maybe right just. Here. Yep. We usually put like deer bran and corn <laughs> right in front of the trail cameras for um, our deer so we can see them. The antlers on that fell. <laughs> see that? So here's Reed's number two trap. That's Is that dog food in that yep. little, the little, cup. little water bottle? Mm -hmm. Yep. We've seen a lot of raccoons and stuff under here because our, our chicken's coop is literally right there. So yep. they'll 
wait out until the night. Yeah, a lot of, lot of possums too. Yeah. Speaking of that, are all the chickens up? There's two here. Somebody needs to take eggs up. There's a bunch of chickens in there. You're gonna have to count them. There's some more eggs. Like Adler Farm calls them. These grinners around here. <laughs> trying to eat all of our chickens. Oh. Those chickens are like two times the size of those silky now. So he's probably like it's a hard job trying to be a mama. So what do we got going on here, babe? I'm just trying to close in their coop a little bit because of the cold weather we got coming in so they have something warm to get out of. Being resourceful. Do you have an engineering degree? Uh, in feed, bag, in, <laughs> chicken, keeping them cool. Redneck engineering degree? Yeah. We all do. Alright guys, this master brand propane heater that we got at Tractor Supply has been a lifesaver in our shop. I will put a link in the description to the exact heater it is. It has, I'll get the camera down here in a minute and show you, it takes a, an entire like a 20 pound, I think it's 20 pound propane yeah. tank like you use for your barbecue grill. It sits right in the back of it. It's on casters so you can move it, slide it. The flame will go out if you move it too much, so I don't recommend doing that. Um, you turn it off and then you can move it. It said in the, the specifications it, it will heat 400 square feet. Our little shop here is 300 square feet, and it will run you out of here. It's, you know, if it's not down in the 30s and you turn it on, it doesn't take long at all. It has three actual, like I guess, burners or, or stages, so you can make it where two of those are on, one of them, or all three of them. So that's one off, and then that's the other one. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. You can probably get this thing up to like 200 degrees with yeah. a three, and if you just leave your foot like right there, it'll burn crap yeah. out your foot. Shannon and I were out here working on deer heads uh, last week, and she had it running next to her, and I came in here to say something to her, and I stood next to it, and it burned my, my mud boot I had on like like melted it so it'll definitely uh, um, it'll get you if you get too close so but this thing is really cool we just want to share that with y'all um, like I said we we're out here working in the shop a lot this time of year and we were trying to find something that we could use that we could move around without having cords or anything like that so and this thing has been perfect uh, a lot of times also I don't, you can look over here in the floor we have um, all those deer heads right there that are drying and when they don't dry the camera back um, when it's cold outside they don't dry that well and they don't turn white as quick uh, so we'll even come out here and turn that thing on and then turn a fan on here to, to heat it up and it helps us dry our, our deer heads out also um, I'll take the camera down I'll, I'll give you all a close-up look of it tractor supply carries these they carry some other um, other variations of it but this one has worked great for us so y'all go check it out if y'all need something for your garage shop barn i mean even if you had a i guess you could probably put that in a big deer blind even or something like that um and, or a little deer yeah, blind or like a way too hot or a, like a deer lease camper or something you could put it in there um it's it's like a like one of the my buddy heater mr buddy heaters it's like one of those on steroids um so let's uh let's get the camera down here and give you a close-up of it all right guys so like i said it's got the three uh individual burners this thing it, it will burn you if you touch it um it, it gets really really hot 
but it heats everything up in here really well. On the back side, you can see it holds a entire propane tank and it has casters. So slide it around, read and show them. So you can slide it around. See the flame went Yeah, the flame went out. You, but you can move it around easily. And then it just lights right back up. Just like that, that easy. probably roast a marshmallow on this and burn it pretty hot. Another something else really cool about this is that that propane tank I think we've had that thing for a month now and that's the second propane tank we've had on it and we've run it a lot. Um, I'm, I don't, I'm not sure in the specifications it says exactly how many hours you can get out of one propane tank. I don't remember what it was but it's got to be you know dozens and dozens of hours before you have to swap the tank out. So we have a lot of propane tanks that we use when we for bull and deer heads. So we have you know plenty of them on standby. But you know you would you could probably get a lot of a lot of mileage out of one of them. So hope you guys hope that helps you guys. Just something that we uh, you know when we find a product that we um, that we like, we want to share it with y'all and, and let y'all know. We aren't sponsored by the Master Brand or by Tractor Supply. If you know anybody in either one of those companies that wants to sponsor us, send them our way. I but, but we just wanted to get, uh, share that with y'all. We will keep y'all updated on Reed and his trapping. See what we come up with. Hopefully, next time we have a video, we'll have some uh, pictures to show you of some some game out there that's running around. And uh, yeah, so Reed, you got anything to say? No, not really. <laughs> Guys, thank y'all very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Please go check us out on uh, social media, Facebook, Instagram. We post on there a lot, a lot more uh, up-to-date, like day-to-day up-to-date of what's going on with us. And uh, we're winding down deer season here in Texas and got a lot of cool stuff coming up. So y'all stay with us and we'll see y'all again. We got done with the video and Reed decided he wanted to show y'all. Uh, y'all saw his four-wheeler on his last, one of our last videos. He. Uh, got some light bars for Christmas to put on put on it and he wanted to show y'all so let's walk over and show y'all real quick and then then the video will be over the lights fading but we'll be able to see him when he turns them on that's without the headlights <laughs> that's with the headlights it's like a harvester's view <laughs> like side side form all right, turn them off and let's get a view from you. All right, now we'll turn them back on from this view. All right, turn them back on. Here's the regular lights. Regular lights, all right. Boom, <laughs> that's crazy. That's really good, do it again. You could. You can't even, t well, I, like, I just turn on the headlights. You can't even tell. Headlights. That was like that. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm on my